teacher Christine. Welcome to our class. Today, we will learn about the five classification of vertebrates. Before we start, let's have a review. What is the difference between vertebrates and invertebrates? You are right! Vertebrates are animals having backbones, while invertebrates are animals without backbones. Here's your star! Come, let's play a game. Identify which of these animals are vertebrates. Remember, vertebrates are animals having backbones. Here is our first set. Snail, mosquito, dogs. Correct! The answer is dog. Dogs have 320 bones. And here's our second set. Jellyfish, Cow and Very good! The answer is cow. Cows have 207 bones. And here is our final set. Earthworm Lobster Monkey Very good! The answer is monkey. Monkeys have 207 bones. Here's your star for doing well in this activity. Normally, vertebrates are classified into five smaller groups. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and mammals. First, we will be talking about birds. By looking at these pictures, can you tell how birds reproduce? Correct! Birds reproduce by laying eggs. How many legs do birds have? Very good! They have two legs! Class, do you know what these animals are? Yes, these are duck and ostrich. They are examples of bird. Can you describe their body covering? Very good! Their body is covered with feathers, and they possess a pair of wings. What do you think can the dog do that the ostrich cannot? Yes, the dog can fly while the ostrich cannot. Most types of birds can't fly, but there are birds which cannot fly. Let us now read the characteristics of birds. Birds have feathers and wings. They lay eggs with hard shells. And they have two legs. Other examples of birds are eagle, penguin, duck, and chicken. Next on the list are reptiles. What animal is this? Yes, this is a snake. Can you describe the body covering of the snake? 
Very good. It has a dry, scaly skin. Some reptiles have hard shells on their body, just like the turtle. Based on these pictures, where do you think reptiles live? Yes, reptiles live in both land and water. How about this picture? What can you observe? Yes, reptiles are hatched from eggs. They lay their eggs on land. Some examples of reptiles are lizard, snake, crocodiles, alligators. Let us now read the characteristics of reptiles. Reptiles have dry and scaly skin. They lay their eggs on land. Reptiles live in land and water. Now let's talk about the distinguishing characteristics of amphibians. Frogs and salamanders are examples of amphibians. Can you describe their body covering? Yes, they have smooth and moist skin. Amphibians do not drink water. They absorb it through their skin. Look at these pictures. How do you think amphibians reproduce? Yes, amphibians reproduce by laying eggs. Amphibians lay eggs that do not have shells or membranes. So, to prevent water loss, they have to lay their eggs on water. Young amphibians use their gills to breathe underwater. As they grow older, these gills develop into lambs so they can live on land. Examples of amphibians are newts, frogs, and toads. Let us read all together the characteristics of amphibians. Amphibians live in both land and water. They breathe through their gills and lungs. They have moist skin and they lay many eggs. Class, do you know these animals? Yes, these are milkfish and tilapia. What do they have on their body? Very good. They have scales on their body. Where do you think fish live? Impressive. They live in water. Look at this picture and describe how fish reproduce. Yes, fish reproduce by laying eggs. What do you think is the use of the fish tail and fin? Yes, they use their tail and fin to swim. How about their gills? Correct. Fish use their gills to breathe oxygen underwater.
examples of fish are shark, tuna, mackerel, and swordfish. Let us read all together the characteristics of fish. Fish breathe underwater using gills. They live in water. They have scales and fins. Fish lay many eggs. To complete the list, we have mammals. Class, what are these animals? Yes, these animals are cat and pig. Will you describe their body covering? Impressive! They have hair and fur on their body. How about this class? Do you know these animals? Yes, these are cows and dogs. These are also mammals. How do you think are mammals born? Yes, mammals give birth to their young alive. How do mother mammals feed their young? Yes, mother mammals feed their young by providing them with milk produced by their mammary glands. What part of the body do they use for breathing? Good job! Mammals use their lungs for breathing. Class, most mammals can walk, but there are also mammals that can fly and swim. Other examples of mammals are dolphin, kangaroo, goat, and humans. Let us now read all together the distinguishing characteristics of mammals. Mammals have hair or fur. They give birth to their young. Mammals feed their young with milk. Class, let's have another activity. What are the five groups of vertebrates you have learned today? Yes, you are correct. The five classifications of vertebrates are fish, bird, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Can you state some animals found in your community? Yes, great job! Some of the animals we find in our community are cats, dogs, birds, fish, and chicken. How can you help protect these animals? Yes, we can help protect these animals by giving them the right amount of food and shelter. We can also provide them with the right vaccination on time. Here's your star for doing well in this activity. Impressive! Let's do this another great activity. Identify whether the characteristics are for amphibians, fish, reptiles, 
mammals and birds. Let's go! Number one. They are covered with scales and they breathe through their gills. What is the answer? The correct answer is fish. Number two. Their bodies are covered with feathers. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is birds. Number three. They have dry, scaly skin. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is reptiles. Number four. They have smooth or moist skin. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is amphibians. Number five. They feed their young with milk. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is mammals. Good job! Class, it's time to go. Keep safe and be healthy. Bye-bye!